Before mixed martial arts exploded in popularity, kickboxing was a sport which showcased the different striking styles. Many fighters from various disciplines took part in the prestigious K1 World Grand Prix Tournament to test their mettle and prove that they are the best. When the world of combat sports evolved, a number of fighters transitioned from K1 to different fighting organizations. For this week, we are putting the spotlight on K1 heavyweight kickboxers who had success in MMA. The most popular K1 kickboxer who transitioned seamlessly to MMA is Mirko Krokop Flipovic. The Croatian fighter never won K1's World Grand Prix, but was victorious competing for the Pride Openweight Grand Prix Championship on his 32nd birthday. He is considered as one of the best heavyweights during his prime and was the first man to slay the gigantic Bob Sapp in K1. Mark Hunt is one of the few fighters to win a K1 World Grand Prix Championship in 2001. The Super Samoan is known for his hard chin and striking power. He also fought the best fighters when he went to Pride and the UFC. He even secured title shots from both companies, but was never able to win the heavyweight gold. A number of fighters from this list already fought in MMA before they joined K1. One of them is Big Daddy Gary Goodrich. He had quite a career fighting in both Pride and the UFC. He even fought legends like Don Fry, Nogueira, and Fedor. He was a UFC 8 tournament finalist and competed for K1 in 1999. In 2012, Goodrich was diagnosed of having early symptoms of CTE. Semi Schilt is a four-time K1 World Grand Prix champion, but he competed in MMA first before dominating the renowned tournament. He first competed in Pancras, where he won the Openweight King of Pancras title. He also fought in both the UFC and Pride. The Dutch Karateka joined the K1 ranks in 2005, where he won both the heavyweight and super heavyweight titles during his tenure. Alistair Overeem was a kickboxer before he transitioned to MMA. When he transformed into the heavyweight Uberim, Whoa! Can you put us in body? <laughs> One of his goals was to become a K1 champion. The Demolition Man competed in the 2010 K1 World Grand Prix and won the tournament. He also won the Strike Force and Dream Heavyweight titles during this period. Duke Rufus held kickboxing and Muay Thai titles, but lost his chance to join the 2001 K1 World Grand Prix. What makes him different from other fighters in this list is he found success in MMA by being a coach. He established the Rufus Sport Gym and trained champions like Anthony Pettis, Tyron Woodley, and CM Punk. Um, scratch that last one. Ray Sugarfoot Sefo competed in the K1 World Grand Prix numerous times but never won the big one. Many consider him as one of the greatest kickboxers who never won the tournament since he has wins against former champions. He doesn't have a stellar record as an MMA fighter, but behind the scenes, he managed to become the president of the Professional Fighters League, which is the second largest fighting organization in the US.